celebrities checking into rehab has never been taboo. Some say celebrities check into rehab for press purposes. It seems like another way for celebrities to get their names not only in the news, but on the cover of magazines. Robert Downey Jr., Charlie Sheen, Matthew Perry, Robin Williams, and Miss USA Tara Corner are just a few celebrities who have a rehab stay on their resume. To what extreme will a star go to keep their name in the media? What extreme? Good press is bad press is better than no press? I uh my my roommate is in public relations and I would I would say that he he always tells his clients that any press is good press until they know who you are. Mm. And then when they know who you are and they get to connect you to a certain philosophy or a certain doctrine, then when you deviate from that, then that's when bad press can be really, really bad press, right? Mm. So uh, I think fame and notoriety come about when you're building a career, but once you have established something, like say for instance, you've established a career as like a man of the cloth or something like that, mm -hmm. and then you deviate from something that is Christian or something like that, then it's like, okay, well, this is bad. This is really, really bad because that's the type of reputation you have. So it's tricky, but, mm. you know, if, if nobody's talking about you, then, you know, hey. Well, it's, it, it seems to me that you, that it's okay. We, it's, it's expected. For a celebrity to go to rehab, it's good. A man mm. of the cloth to go to rehab, I don't know mm. if that's so necessarily right. acceptable. Right. But then again, like there are celebrities that claim to be overtly Christian and then mm -hmm. they would do something that, you know, maybe is not as biblical and I'm not trying to make it a religious discussion. But then it turns into, OK, well, because you're against the philosophy that we that we have accepted you into our homes mm -hmm. with, then now this is bad publicity, because how can you come back from something like that? You see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, rehab is like, for African Americans, we shy away from, you know, uh, going to psychiatrists. They think, what, you crazy? Yeah, you, what need, you, you know, you have to go to therapy. Right. But right. when we look at rehab, when we see celebrities going to rehab, I don't think there's that stigma placed on celebrities for that. I don't think yeah. so. So it's okay to go to, to rehab, but it's not okay to have a psychiatrist? It's okay to go to the most extreme form of psychiatric treatment possible because, I mean, that's, that's rehab, it it's is. inpatient right. treatment. It is, right. it is. It's and an intervention <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to just maintenance. Right, you know? exactly. Right. It's not like, you know, you're just going to go into cold turkey, you yeah. know, right. in a facility right. like that, you know, because I'm sure they have a designer chef. Right. Yeah. They have recreation, swimming pools, mm -hmm. sauna, you right. know, massages, you know, anything to get you through your your time. You know, nine thousand mm -hmm. dollars a day. Some of them run, yeah. wow. you know, I mean, is it is it a spa or is it really rehab? Well, it. I think there has to be some type of vacation in her in a rehabilitation center, because a lot of times whatever you are battling. Right. You really just need to break from it. Right. Maybe the, uh, the alcoholism is because you have such a stressful life mm -hmm. or maybe the drug problem is because you have such a stressful life. And so they try to make the environment as comfortable as possible. But if you if if you know anything about America, then, you know, comfort is expensive. So, yes, you know, is. that Very all of expensive. the spas and the fancy chefs and the this and the that, you know, it can turn into a really pricey thing. But mm -hmm. it helps with the rehabilitation process because it's more than an intervention. It's more of a of a mental break because mm. sometimes you just really need to take a break. But what about their image? Charlie Sheen, he's in in and out of rehab. Mm -hmm. Do parents say to their kids, don't watch Two and a Half Men? You know, it's bad. He's a, he's you know he's he's not a good influence. Does it really mar their image? Hmm. I would say I would say no, right? I'm gonna give somebody else the opportunity to, <laughs> to talk. But um, I would say no, and the reason why is because rehabilitation to me in any form would say that you're seeking help, mm -hmm. right? You know, I'm I'm trying to help myself out, right? I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be, but. I need some help here and I'm gonna go get some. I'm gonna go live at this place for three, two or three months and get this help as opposed to I'm just gonna run myself into the ground until let's say the legal system takes up the issue and then I'm behind bars or something like that. I think rehabilitation is a, a personal step that a person can take so that they can begin to be in control of their own success, their own destiny. And that to me is admirable. Well, I'll tell you. Yeah. 
you know, when it's revolving door, I, you know, I wonder yeah. if they're really mm -hmm. getting the treatment that they really need. Mm -hmm. You know, if I, if 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 Charlie Sheen knows if I go into rehab, I'm gonna get the cover, you know, of People or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, sure, I'll go into rehab because that puts me in the light of the of the public eye. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't have a gig right now, but people are thinking about me. Producers are thinking about me. I'm in people's minds. Mm -hmm. So if that's what I have to do to get into people's minds, that's what I'll do. Look at Britney Spears, you know, Lindsay Lohan, revolving door, revolving door, revolving door. Right. So I'm, I mean, I don't know if it's always good, you know, or if they just use it as a ploy. Well, and Charlie Sheen's been re rewarded for his crazy behavior, too. Yeah. I mean, right. the tiger blood thing, all of his promotions he's getting. He's on all these commercials. You know, if you're at, what is the commercial with it? All the images from Platoon, and, like, he's in a Japanese bathhouse. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, he's, I mean, he had strippers and hookers living in his house with his two well, very Those young two girls? Sons. Yes, I saw them. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> wow. Well, you know, but he's got endorsements. Yes, he right. does. Yes, he does. The queen of talk, Oprah Winfrey, who has tons of endorsements, mm -hmm. scored the first interview with Bobby Christina after the tragic death of her mother, Whitney Houston. The interview focused on Bobby Christina following her mother's footsteps. Many celebrities have children who follow in their footsteps. Natalie Cole followed in her father, Nat King Cole's footsteps. Uh, Heather Locklear's daughter, Ava Sabora, is following in her mother's footsteps and will be appearing in the upcoming film, This is 40. Do audiences expect more from child stars who follow in their celebrity parents' footsteps than a child who breaks into the business? Hmm. Do we, like, are we going to expect more from Whitney Houston's daughter? Does she have to sing like, a bird? <laughs> I mean, yeah. better than her mother? As good as her mother? Mm -hmm. Right. At, At least, least as is good. good. As. At yeah. least mm -hmm. as good as. Um, I think that uh, there's, there's a sense of nostalgia that comes when you have a child that has a famous parent. Because mm -hmm. Americans, we like to fall in love with stuff, right? We love Whitney Houston, right? When she was, you know, at her in her prime. And so to see someone else in come and pick up where she left off and then they're from the same bloodline as right. she is, then um, that really means something. But I mean, it's it's been like that since uh, since European monarchies, right? Like mm -hmm. they would they would love for a princess to come along that was exactly like the queen and that would do things right. exactly like mm -hmm. the queen did it. And so I think that when we have celebrities, say like Goldie Hawn and her daughter, mm -hmm. um, I'm her, right. mind, her daughter's name is slipping my mind right now, but she's extremely famous, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think that when you see that, it's because it's the nostalgia, right? We want to see these children do as well as their parents did, and it makes us feel comfortable because we remember a time when, you know, your mother was acting like this, or your mm -hmm. mother was right. singing like this. Right? You're carrying on. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. Now, Shereen, you're in the business, right? Mm -hmm. So are any of your parents in the business? No. No. So you're breaking in by yourself. Exactly. Yeah. But you must know people that have a much easier uh, way to walk through that threshold. So how does how does it? What do you think mm -hmm. about? Do you think you think that you less people think less or expect less of you because your mother was not an actress, or no. how does how does that work for you? Well, with me being an you know virtually unknown, people don't know what to expect from me. Mm -hmm. People can I mean I can define myself however I want to right. but when you're a celebrity's child you have a certain stigma or a certain level of expectation Vision. already mm -hmm. just because of your name you know just because of who you related to so I so think it's freer it, for I think you. it's a little bit harder yeah I think it would be a little bit harder to establish yourself as an individual mm -hmm. if you came from mm -hmm. a famous family Mm. Yes, as an individual, but you yeah. s you have a launching pad that other people don't have. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Well, many celebrities have been backing the Invisible Children's Coney 2012 campaign. But what is Coney 2012? Coney aims to make Joseph Coney famous, not to celebrate him, but to raise support for his arrest and set a precedent for international justice. The premise is, if people know about the crimes that Coney has been committing for 26 years, they will unite 
to stop him. Celebrities like Diddy, Kim Kardashian, and Rihanna are coming out in support and tweeting about it. Does the support of celebrities make another support instantaneous? Like, do we support them just because P. Diddy uh, tweeted us and, you know, so, oh, we got to support that too. I think that, that that has a lot to do with being socially conscious, right? There, mm -hmm. there are some people that watch the news, and there's, there are people who don't. And yeah. the people who don't watch the news are more inclined to consume entertainment news. Mm -hmm. And so as a consumer of entertainment news, you might not have heard about it until P. Diddy or Rihanna mm -hmm. said right, something right, about right. it. And so that light that is shed from a celebrity gives it license to be discussed. Now it's a water cooler conversation because right. you can go to work and you feel informed, even though you're not an avid C CNN, BBC watcher like mm -hmm. s some other people, some more right. informed people are. Yeah. Well, they are telling me that we are out of time. Oh, time no. flies when you're having fun. <laughs> That's all the time we have for Hot Topics. I'd like to thank my guests, Sarah Jane Husky, Shireen Whitfield, and Clarence Ball. We'll be right back. And when we come back, we might just have the cure for Alzheimer's. Stay with us.